So in this presentation we're going to see some additional handy commands for WinDebug. So far we have not discussed these commands. Although we have discussed some topics uh, related to this like debugging modes etc. So we are straight away going into a demo. The first command is pipe. So that will give you what is being debugged. So in this case I am debugging a notepad.exe and the process ID is this. If I do a double pipe I'll get information about the mode of debugging. So this is a live user mode debugging. So the notepad is running and it is local. I'm not doing any remote debugging. Now next command is version. So this will give you the uh, debugger version, the date of build the command line used to start the debugger also it gives the versions of the extension as well next command is word target or version target so this will give you the information about the debugger the previous command was giving information about debugger. In this case, you'll get information about the debuggy. So this will show information like what kind of operating system this is. So I'm using a Windows 7 service pack 1. So currently the date is this. And this system has been running for this many hours process up time this particular process which is being debugged in this case it is not bad has spent this many hours or days in the kernel as well as user CPU time so the process has not yet started so that's why it's all zero if you attach to a long running process you will get a valid counter for that dot restart I have used it a couple of times already so that is for uh, restarting the debugging session you can use this button as well for restart now if you want to save this particular window text to a file, edit a right window text to a file. So you can save it into a file. Now, if you want to save all the commands and the output of the commands, which is going to be in the debugger command window, you can use dot log open, then the file name where you want to save the logs. So in this case it is going to be it is going to be log1.txt so if I do a tilde star k I can see that same output in the log file. Now without disturbing the process to detach the debugger the command is QD or QTAN detach. So the notepad is started. So debugger is detached. Now you cannot control the notepad from the debugger because debugger is detached. So those were the couple of leftover miscellaneous commands which I wanted to discuss in this presentation. Thank you very much.